All right, we've got junior superstars, 69 kilo Carolyn Connor and 83 kilo Alex Sidor. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so first thing I want to do is let's talk about Carolyn. She just came off the platform. Yep. And uh, Alex, you handled her. So first thing, if you guys want to kind of just give a summary of Carolyn's day, and, and Alex, just be a good chance for you to brag on your lifter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did uh, really well today. Um, we came into this meet squatting 177.5 benching 90 and deadlifting 405. But due to the day, we just took what was there on the day. So she squatted, she matched her PR on squat and then bench, um, she benched 85, which was good. 87 and a half was there. We just took a little too, bit, too big of a jump on to 90. And then for deadlift, she hit 175, which was pretty good. You know, she's happy about that. Um, we just have some things to work on. We're gonna be switching days around for her SPD days, um, switching around volume, stuff like that. And just working on a little bit more technique for deadlift to really like refine that and you know just get the better technique of deadlift. Yeah. First of all, congratulations on your performance. Thank you. I always like to ask lifters this: uh, your third squat, first of all, was epic. <laughs> <laughs> and so you could really, I hope you felt the energy in the room. Like oh, that. I did. Yeah. It's the only thing that got and me through that. This may sound crazy, but what, what was kind of going through your mind there as you're you know kind of reaching the sticking point and transitioning? you know, to the bar where it's almost at a standstill. Yeah, so the noise definitely helped. Um, but I also have a very, like, all-or-nothing mindset. Like, I said to myself, and I think Ryan said it too, like, I was going to die before I didn't get that squat because <laughs> squat's my favorite lift. So I'm very proud of my performance with squat, um, and I just wanted to make myself proud throughout the entire day. So I'm not upset uh, with my failed third bench and third deadlift because I made myself very proud on squat and I added a lot of kilos to my total. So um, overall, I made myself proud and I know what I need to work on and I hope we can adjust that for junior nationals yep. and show up where it matters at juniors. Yep. I noticed that second deadlift got away from the body a little bit. I was wondering if that was a technical error or um, just like part of your training style and it was just a hard lift. Yeah, that has been a common technical flaw that I've had for so long that I can't break for some reason. Um, I also train at my college gym, so we use like bumper plates and a different bar. So it's just like when I adjust to kilos on deadlifts, it does get affected a little bit. Um, but it's definitely something I need to work on. Uh, yeah, that is like a very common, yeah. and we see common technical delf, issue. Like, when she's doing reps, she's a much better rep delfter. And yeah. her second rep, she always gets into a better position. Yeah. So yeah, the, the biggest thing is we have to just focus on that first rep. Exactly. Yeah. The first rep, I can't wedge and it goes away a little bit. So just need to adjust a little bit more. So, Carolyn, being a junior and being out there lifting, you know, in the same class with Claire and with Chelsea, you know, Chelsea's a bench national champion and went to Worlds last year and out there with the reigning world champion 63s, Meg Scanlon, what was it like just being in the warm-up room with those women and being on the same platform with them? Well, first of all, incredible lifters. They're definitely lifters I look up to. and. It's such an honor to be able to put myself in that position, and it's something that I'm very grateful to be able to do. Um, it definitely inspires me to do better, and it definitely holds me more accountable. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a very big yeah. blessing, for sure. Yeah. All right, any more questions for Carolyn? All right, if not, then we'll move on over to Alex. Um, so, Alex, you, you, know, you were in the, one of the late classes with one of the biggest battles here, yeah. and um, you were kind of sitting comfortably in third. And how did that feel? I mean, just kind of like, you were, were you just on cruise control all day or what? Yeah, it was okay. I just, um, coming to the meet, I just got a little sick. So I had a little food poisoning coming to the meet. So I wasn't feeling the best, um, just throwing up a little bit. So, you know, I came in, took what I had on the day, and, you know, just, that's basically all I could say. Like, just really had to take what I had, to de take what I had on the day um, on squat. Bench was, had to be adjusted because of the new bench rules. So I had to retake my opener. Um, and that's going to be fixed for junior nationals, making sure we're, you know, technically dialed in and, you know, making sure we're hitting IPF, you know, um, elbow depth. And then, yeah, for Delft, we just took what's, you know, what's there and then tried to pull myself into third again with the last Delft, but just wasn't there on the day. Okay. Yeah. So you finished fourth? Fifth. Fifth. Yeah. Okay. But if I pulled the last Delft, it would have okay, been third. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And the same, same question, I mean, you're out there with Deuce Gruden, you know, he was a junior world champion before. Now yeah. He's in, national champion he's got one of the biggest totals in your weight class by anyone what yeah. was it like just you know competing against him and sean Jin? yeah it was awesome i mean i've competed against sean twice now before you know amazing competitor and you know first time competing against deuce like amazing both amazing competitors just seeing them in the warm room seeing them locked in in their element just you know something i could just always model um after um you know it's just amazing do you 
Do you, uh, do you see these guys as adversaries or you know, role models to look up to? You know, when you're back in there with them, what's your mindset as you think about them? I mean, on the day, I would be, I would say, like, I want to beat them. You know, obviously, today was obviously pretty far off, and I'm working towards that, you know, getting there eventually. But I do see them off the platform as role models, as people, as inspirations. Um, I want to eventually get there and eventually, you know, become a IPF Junior World Champion, IPF Open Champion, you know, later down the line, just keep grinding it, you know, day after day, week after week, year after year, and just being consistent. This is a question for both of you guys, but as younger lifters, do you guys see yourself staying in the same weight class or gradually, eventually moving up to the next weight class as you gain muscle mass? Yeah, I'll go first. Um, this is probably my last year at the 83, just because the cuts have been kind of rough on me. Um, so I'm going to do last year 83 junior nationals, and then if I qualify for um, worlds, I'll do 83 that wor worlds, and then I'll do 93 next year, and then I'll probably be 93 for a while before I maybe move up again, but definitely 93 coming soon just because of cuts have been kind of rough on me. Um, this is my first full year powerlifting, so when we decided to make the decision on what weight class I would compete in, I picked a weight class that I could grow into. So last year I was pretty light for 69. I, I didn't have to cut for the meets or anything. Um, and I'm very glad with my decision to stay in a weight class that I can grow into because I feel like if I were to pick a weight class a little bit lower, I would be limiting my potential, especially because I'm so young. This is the time to really add as much weight as I can to my total. Um, so I see myself competing in this weight class for, you know, the next few years. I'm very happy with this weight. So, yeah. so it sounds like both of you are going to be heading to junior nationals in, yes. in Scottsdale. So taking what you've kind of learned from today, and I know that's still fresh, so you, it may require some reflection, but what, what might you change or, or alter going into this next training period prepping for, for junior? We were actually talking about this like already. We're both so like excited to get going. Um, for me personally, um, you know, we see the flaws, we see, the, we see where the strengths are, we see the weak, where the weaknesses are, so we know what to adjust. Um, but yeah, I mean, just keep, going as best as we can and keep giving our all for training and you know yeah she's been making great happen. she's making great progress so like just keep you on yeah. that keep you on that same train and just keep working on that she had a 37 and a half kilo today on yeah. her total so yeah. that's really good so we just got to keep <laughs> doing that <laughs> thank you yeah. thank you for me i just need to the three things i need to work on is just my my weight cut uh my deadlift grip and my bench just got to work on my bench yeah. uh, my squats once it, if it's at you know peak level it's it's pretty good um yeah. i just got to work on my bench and then deadlift grip yeah, we took this meet very, like, low pressure. We just wanted to see what was there, how we were handling, you know, the new weight we've added to totals and everything like that. So it was a, just a low pressure meet uh, yeah. just to see how we would perform for the juniors because that's where it really matters to us. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think we're both pretty happy with our performances given the circumstances <laughs> for everything. Yeah. So can't complain too yeah. much. Well, that's awesome. All right. We got a comment from BBC over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I guess just along those same lines, do you have any goals, specific goals for Junior Nationals? Uh, any predictions? You know? <laughs> yeah, mine's just a win. <laughs> mine's just a win. Just a win. Uh, um, I always say I just want to make myself proud. You know, like whatever total I get, I just want to be happy with it and happy with the work that I've put in. Um, but, I mean, I would like to break a 1,000 pounds at Junior Nationals. I'm getting so close, and I can, like, just feel it. So I would really like that goal. Um, but... Like I said, just make myself proud. Yeah. All right. yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Yeah.